To manage your payment plans, you can visit File, Payment Plan, or you can click on the plan icon located at the top of the screen. This will open your search for payment plan window. Essentially, you can search for a payment plan using description, payment plan code, plan ID, processor bin number, and processor PCN number. The easiest, most effective way to search for a payment plan will be to use the bin number. Every insurance company will have a bin number. The bin number can be located on the member's card. If you cannot locate the bin number, you can call the number on the card and ask for patient eligibility. The customer service rep will provide you with the proper bin number, in some cases a PCN number as well, group number, and member ID number. To search for a bin number, simply select processor bin number and input the bin number located on the card. Select get data and the system will show you any payment plans matching that processor bin number. Notice this particular bin number also has a PCN number attached to it. If the card I'm holding does not have a PCN, then this is not the correct payment plan. Many payment plans can have different PCN numbers. They might all have the same bin number, but they might not have the same PCN number. So one patient could have one PCN number and another patient can have a totally different PCN number. Therefore, those are two different payment plans. Your system will come preloaded with a list of active payment plans. Now, there is also a dormant file called the National Plans. By selecting National Plans, the system will show you over 6,000 payment plans from across the nation. These are not plans that you actively have in your software, but you can easily move them to your active list. You can also search the National Plan list by a specific bin number, making it easier for you to add a new plan to your active list than creating one yourself. To do so, just make sure the checkbox is checked where it says National Plans and simply select Processor Bin and input the bin number that you need. The National Plan list will show you a list of bin numbers matching that criteria. Select the payment plan you wish to add. Remember, make sure the PCN matches the PCN on the member's card. Let's go back to the initial list so I can show you how to add a payment plan from the national list to your current active plan list. I'm going to remove the bin number and select get data and the software will now show me the entire national list. Now I'm going to show you how to move a plan from the national list to your active list. To do so simply select the plan that you wish to use and select add new. The system will ask you to copy the insurance from the national list to your current plan file. Select yes and a new payment plan record window will appear. The only information you need is the payment plan code. The payment plan code is essentially an ID number in which you create yourself to reference this specific payment plan. Notice from the list we have up here every individual payment plan has its own payment plan code. Normally you would select a code that has something to do with the description. In this case 4D pharmacy management I might prefer to use a payment plan code such as 4DP. The payment plan code can be alphanumeric up to three letters or three numbers. By selecting save I have just added this payment plan record from the national list to my current active payment plan list. Now let's go over creating a new payment plan that is not in the national list. Let's go back to plan, open our search for plan window, and we're going to select processor bin. Processor bin is the most accurate way to search. By looking at the patient's ID card, I will locate the bin number that is displayed on the card. In this case, 610014. 
and the software is letting me know I have no plans actively matching that particular bin number. Remember, I can search the national plan list, which will show me plans in the national database that I can add to my active list. But in this example, let's create a payment plan without selecting the national plan list. Simply click on the Add New button, and a new payment plan record window will appear. The only difference is the payment plan record window has not been auto populated by the information in the national plan list. The description is essentially the name of the payment plan, most commonly found on the actual insurance card. The payment plan code is just a code used by the software to reference this particular insurance. Normally, it matches the description. So in this case, United Healthcare. I might want to use UHC. The processor bin number must match exactly to how it is on the actual member's card. The PCN number, short for processor control number, must also be inputted correctly. It must match the exact information on the member's card. Keep in mind, not all insurances require a PCN number. So if the member's card that you are looking at does not have a PCN on the front or the back, chances are this particular payment plan does not require a PCN. If you have any questions regarding the exact bid number and PCN number you should be using, turn the card around and on the back you should have a pharmacy help desk number. Call that number and ask for patient eligibility. The help desk for the member's payment plan will be able to help you with the proper bin number, PCN number, as well as group number and ID. All the other fields, street, city, enrollment, and help desk, are all fields you can use to populate just in case if you ever have to contact this particular insurance company again for whatever reason. This brings us to the type field. The type field basically tells the software if this is a general insurance or it might be a Medicaid DME or Medicare DME. In some cases, you have also workers' compensation insurances. By selecting insurance, you're telling the software this is a standard insurance transmission. Once you have filled out the proper fields, you can select Save, and that insurance has now been added to your list of active payment plans. If we search for the same bin number again, you will notice that this plan is now in your active list of insurance plans. 